Well, hello again. It's Thursday, May 7th, 2020. And of course, we're all walking around with our masks on here. I'm sitting in my car at the moment. We're getting ready to take to uh, meet up with a lady named Carol Soper, who is a bit of a um, uh, subject matter expert in Fauquier County, Virginia, on uh, on our history here and on cemeteries and things like that, family family histories. Um, and she's told me about the Ed, Edmonds Blackwell Family Cemetery, which is very close by to where I'm sitting right now. Um, we're going to walk there shortly, as soon as I meet up with her. Um, but uh, this is a this is a family cemetery that's got lots of remains in it, but a lot of the stones were moved at some point to the Warrington Cemetery um, in a more public place. This is still a family home, or at least the ruins of it, I, I assume. Uh, I don't know much about it other than what she's told me via email uh, in the last couple of weeks here. But Colonel Edmonds uh, is a Revolutionary War soldier who is buried here, but his tombstone is actually in the Warrenson Cemetery. So I don't know what evidence we will see of his remains being here, uh, but there are also there are other stones in the in the family plot. And uh, so as soon as uh, as soon as I connect up with her, which hopefully will be in the next few minutes here, we will get started and uh, see what we find out. Learn some new things today. Talk to you soon. All right, so this is Mrs. Carol Soper. She is the local flock here expert on uh, the, the uh, cemeteries in the area and local history. She's going to show us a few things about the area. But we're going to take a walk over here. Uh, this is for the Edmonds Blackwell property and cemetery. So she's going to tell us a little bit about what we're looking at. I had posted a picture of that um, on the abandoned site or photos of Fauquier County. I don't remember which site I was on. <laughs> uh, and so this whole area is named Oak Springs because that was the, the name of the estate of Mr. Edmonds. And, and um, it, the, the spring is still there with the original stonework around it. And it for the, I think for the most part, most people around here don't even know uh, know anything about the history. They don't know why it's even called Oak Springs. So that is interesting. There you have it. Yep. So across the road here is the Oak Springs house, and we'll walk across there. Uh, wait till everybody goes by. All right. The nursing home over here. You can see the one end of the house, the other end of the house. Uh, it originally had another floor to it. There was a fire, and I don't remember what year it was. And when the house was fixed back up, uh, they left that damaged story off. They didn't rebuild that. Hmm. So it was built in the 1700s. Is it owned privately now? Well, the nursing home changed hands. It used to be Oak Spring Nursing Home. When it changed hands, I don't know if this, if they um, picked this up in part of the deal or not. But they originally had, when it was Oak Spring Nursing Home, they originally had some patients over here that were mobile, and it was more of an apartment kind of um, thing that they, had, you know, used it for. But they did have patients over here, so I'm sure that we can walk up to it if you want to go around or cut across the yard. Um, the original driveway is actually these trees follow follow uh, an old roadbed in there. Okay. So I think that that's how you got uh, you access uh, this from the the main part of town. I think this was part of the part of the access. All right. Well, lead on. So we're heading towards the actual cemetery now. I used to come 
come up here and take some pictures every now and then. It's just a, you know, such great antiquity, you know, that you don't find in the middle of places like this. Sure. I was at the Arrington Cemetery you know, about a month ago, and it's right in the middle of a whole bunch of condominiums. Yes, well, uh, when you see this one, you're gonna... <laughs> going to be uh, saddened, I think. So All this right. is the home. This is Oak Springs. This is some type of abandoned. This is Oak Springs. Abandoned houses. That is the Oak Spring homestead there. And it's typical 1700s architecture. The county was formed, you know, in 1759 officially. And um, I cannot think of Mr. Edmonds, Colonel Edmonds' first name, um, but he was one of the, I think, the original sheriffs of the county. And being a, a property owner and a man of some wealth, uh, he held high office like lots of those people did. Okay. Can I go up close? to be restored. Absolutely. And it really is in the outside. I think it's in great shape. It was overgrown. And there were still a fair amount of tombstones in it. And I'll give you some history of the cemetery here in a minute where we can find some tangible evidence of it. house looks to be in really good shape. Yes, it is. I mean, obviously, it was lived in and money was put into it for, uh, oh, yeah. uh, probably continually lived in. Mm. I don't know when it went out of the family. Is this the area? So this is the well, part I, of it. Well, I am guessing that this is what the last developer, uh, that was his, um, his token to preserving the cemetery because I think there's something up there. But um, there used to be a tombstone uh, next to this building here on the other side. Um, this, this cemetery was originally an acre in size and the earliest dates of burial of death that um, I could find, uh, they're in the book, um, early 1800s. This is that book she's referring to. But it probably dates back earlier than that. Interesting. And as I've detailed in the book, the family, uh, because it was a large cemetery and it wasn't filled up with, with graves, they decided to form a corporation and, and opened it up, made it available to um, uh, public to bear here for, you know, buying a plot. And, um, 
that only lasted for about 10 years and the depression right around the depression uh, kind of went out of business the corporation dissolved but the, when people bought the plot they were paying for in perpetuity care which you know did not happen um, <clears throat> I also have the year. I should have reviewed this really before I. Before <laughs> That's I mentioned, all right. Um, they moved. Uh, families had the option of moving uh, remains and tombstones to the Warrington Cemetery. Some people took advantage of that. Okay. Uh, but when I first saw the cemetery, I would guess there was about twenty tombstones at least, and. Many of the remains, many more remains, um, were never moved. So one of the, the uh, notables in the cemetery is a Revolutionary War soldier. Uh, he was a, a Blackwell, I think. I think it was a Blackwell. Ed, Edmund. Well, there's Edmonds and Blackwell. They intermarried. Right, okay. Okay, I, it might have been in Edmonds, but there was, it's in the, it's noted. Yep. And, um, I think in the email you sent me, you talked about, I, I believe his name was William Edmonds. Yep, that's it. I think Thank that was, you. Okay. Thank you. Um, his, his tombstone was moved to Warrington Cemetery, he and his wife's. Uh, his remains never were. So he is resting in Somewhere. the area, <laughs> either under the road, under, under one of the buildings. And, um, you know, it's kind of sad that this is, this is all that's left, really. Wow. Um, I can walk walk around the building um, there used to be a tombstone I think like I said on the other side of this building it was about uh, it was within 10 feet of the side of this, of hmm. this. now are those stones at ground level there is or are these I, I'm not sure there's a stone over there that's like nope, barely this, readable that's got words on it right there oh yeah mm -hmm. yep there's a stone on the other side that's like barely readable yeah. when I got involved with this um, there was a some descendants that gave me all the information about the cemetery corporation they had a map of the burials and and most of the burials were identified the names of the people even some of the unmarked ones there's a tip of a stone right there yep that's there sunk sure down low mm -hmm. yep. hey dad there's one over here the i mean we can go in if you want somebody's yeah. obviously keeping it up um yeah let's uh let's when the family approached me, there was um, this, this whole piece of property was up for sale. Sell? Sacred to the memory of William Bell. Oh, Bell. Okay. okay. Born in Northern, let's stand back. Okay. Northern something land. I should have brought chalk. Next time I'll, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. John 1772. Uh huh. And then uh, 1851. So born February 11, 1772. Died February 25th, 1851. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. All right. And this looks like it probably originally was a footstone right here, but it could have been a headstone. Let's see what this, this other one over here tells us. Got a piece of one. This looks like a footstone. It's just got initials on it. Yeah. SLF. Yeah, it might, this might be a headstone. Stephanie L. I think that's uh, Steve. French. That's Stephen French. Stephen. Okay, I've got that. I mean, these, these should all be in the book. Okay. Prince William County, born in Prince William County, Virginia. 29 July 1804. 1804. Wow. And I think I've got dates of death on there. There's more text down here. August. I see August. He died in Warrington. Yep, August. 
twenty something. Mm, so not old, not even no, twenty years and old. I think he, I'm not sure, but I think he was visiting, and he and he died when he was visiting. Had an accident of some sort. Got over, you know. Got they sick. Come, they got sick. Wow. Oh, there's some more stones over here. Mm -hmm. Died 1815, you said? Yeah, 1815. Yep. Sarah Robinson. I really wanted to see what this one said. Yes. Well, let's turn around. See so, if we can read that. When I got involved with this cemetery and the family asked me to help, uh, the town was considering approval of a subdivision of this property. And the way, the de way it was being subdivided was the one acre cemetery was laying across three different parcels. I mean, the, the subdividing lines went right through Something it. And mm. so what I did was I took the map that the family gave me and blew it up to the same scale as the map of uh, what was co going before the zoning. And so that they could see where the cemetery was proximity of it with where they were sub the request for the subdivision was and some of the uh, at least one of the developers did not know there was a cemetery in here supposedly anyway it was approved for subdivision anyway and so this is what you see this is what's left and there's a marker out here this is this is what is left of a one acre size cemetery that's not much. Nope, not much. I, this, I wouldn't even say this is an eighth of an acre. No. Sixteen. You want to get my, can, buddy, can you get the book for me? Oh, yeah, I'm going to sure. take a peek at this area. Okay, let's see what this marker says here. Colonel William Evans, established family cemetery, circa 1811. This is new. I have not seen this. 48 member. But see... What this doesn't tell you is that there were people that bought plots that were no relation to these people. Mm. You know, in, in the 19, the teens and the early 1900s, uh, it does not mention anything. And this incorporated date is correct, and, and uh, like I said, the incorporation dissolved right around 1929. Wow. Well, there is... There is not much of a one acre area. That's that's maybe uh, 75 feet by 25 feet. We also found uh, in doing some research on the property that there was a slave cemetery. Colonel Edmonds owned slaves. Mm -hmm. There was a cemetery mentioned in a deed at some point. Uh, it was not identified how close or how far away from the house. So we, we don't know where it is and uh, obviously obliterated with development. We kind of looked for it, but when, when I was involved with all this, the, uh, it was very overgrown. I bet. So, I bet. This is quite, I mean, without all these houses and everything here, this is a, quite a little bist, a distance from the, from the house. A couple, unusual, of, couple of hundred yards. Yeah, not too unusual. Yeah, it probably would have been separated out in its own little field somewhere. Um, I don't know where the outbuildings were, so uh, there could have been outbuildings between here and the house. Don't know. Slave quarters, don't know. Could have been anywhere. Yeah, yeah. could have been anywhere. So um, I just think it's it's uh, it's a jewel in, in my mind. To the it's part of the history of Warrington, and it's just kind of slowly fading away. Absolutely. And I bet that tree right there was probably a very little thing. <laughs> that tulip poplar, I'm, I'm so glad they left that. That tulip poplar was actually at one end of the cemetery. Okay. And this cemetery was not on a knoll. This was a flat area in here. So they lowered this to put these homes in. Yes, they did. Okay. They lowered it and uh, disturbed it. Quite a few graves. I can see that. I have a picture somewhere of uh, this tree when it was in bloom when I was visiting a cemetery, which was somewhere around 
1992-93 sometime in that area mm. so that's what I have on Oak Spring that's quite a bit more than I had coming here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you knew what it was, that it was like based off of like so you said there was maybe one more stone or there was one stone that i remember right after they built this um that was very close to the building hmm. and it was the only stone that i saw when i came through I, this was not fenced and because everything was lo laying down the stones existing were laying down right. and i didn't know that there were even any stones left up here so do you want to walk around it or? It's up to you. All right, we'll, we'll just take a stroll. Come on, buddy. I'm a, I'm a walker, so it's all good. <laughs> All right, well, that was it. We took a walk around the whole building and we did not find the extra, the, 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 the last remaining tombstone that at one point was here. But Carol, I want to say thank you very much for the, the tour. And this has been great, very informative. And I hope that our folks that watch these are, are, uh, are blessed by what they, they learn from this. Thank you for your knowledge and sharing it. Sure. All right, have a great day. Thank you. And we'll see you guys later.